Good evening, Newbridge family and friends. I wanted to post this quick video to let you know that the Treasury has issued the initial uh, final ruling for the Paycheck Protection Program. So a couple of quick changes on the program or clarifications. Number one, the interest rate on the loan, uh, assuming that part, all of it is not forgivable, is 1%. Okay, it was a half of a percent, now it's 1%. Uh, the two-year term is still in place. Um, in addition, a clarifying point is 1099 employees. So many of us um, have 1099 contractors that work for our businesses. They are not to be included in the monthly payroll calculation. The reason being is that they are eligible to apply um, themselves for this loan. So they are not to be included. Um, another point of clarification is regarding what is exactly included in wages. So this has come specifically for LLCs um, or LLC partnerships where uh, it is guaranteed payments, is classified as guaranteed payments as for their income. Um, I've heard from a couple of different lenders and they have indicated that guaranteed payments in, in, indeed will be used in the calculation. So that will be used um, if there is net profit that's a little bit of a gray area there um, that may not be um, in included. It's really when you speak to your lender, because again, the lenders, the banks are the ones that are going to be processing these applications. Make sure if there is a net profit after the guaranteed payments that you ask them for clarification. Um, just to also let you know that with this programming program opening tomorrow, uh, it will be a crazy day. For these banks um so expect hiccups expect long wait times on the telephone call um potentially expect errors with the forms um you know this is very new to them and they don't have all the guidance that they need or that they're comfortable with in moving forward but they are moving forward nonetheless so again if you are a uh, business owner um, again i encourage you to submit an application for the Paycheck Protection Program tomorrow. If you're a sole proprietor or a 1099 contractor, you are also eligible. You just have to wait an additional week to be able to submit your application. If you have an existing relationship with a bank, I encourage you to contact them tomorrow and indicate that you would like to apply for the Paycheck Protection Program. Um, the goal is that this will be funded rather quickly. So as a result, the Treasury, the Small Business Administration is encouraging lenders um, to process it as quickly as they, as they possibly can. So that's the good news. I probably would still expect a couple of weeks, but we will see. Um, but again, the changes, at least initially, is that it's no longer 0.50% uh, on the interest. It is 1%. Um, there's still a two-year term on the loan itself. But as most of us are hoping for is that most, if not all of this loan is forgivable, um, which would be determined at the end of the June. And again, it is up to the lenders themselves, the bank themselves to determine whether or not um, it is forgivable. As I receive more guidance, I will be sure to communicate that to you. Um, but for now, if you are a small business owner, be prepared to submit an application for the Paycheck Protection Program tomorrow, Friday, April 3rd. In the meantime, stay healthy. Good night.